In this video, you'll learn how to position your image inside the image element on Elementor Pro. Now let's go ahead and begin here. So open up the Elementor editor and create a similar layout like this. So go ahead and click on your image. And we're going to go ahead and decrease the width of this image. And we're only going to decrease just the image element. But of course, the image itself, we want to have an, an object fit on that. And we want to set it to cover. Once we set it to cover, we can see that it's not stretched out anymore. But we want to position this person here on a parachute in the center, right? And I've seen that in the past where you'll kind of set this up. But if you have a long image, just like this one, where it's more of a landscape image, and you want to go ahead and maybe have a certain part of that image only shown in the box. You can't go ahead and do that within these settings, right? Um, we can't really move that. So this is where we can add some custom CSS to adjust the positioning of the image inside the image element. So go into advance custom CSS and Go ahead and type in selector image. Now, if you're not using Elementor Pro, you can easily just go to layout, give it a CSS class or an even an ID, and then add that same code to the customizer. Just instead of the selector, use your CSS class or ID. Now, after the IMG, put in some curly brackets. Inside these curly brackets, we're going to type in object and you want to choose position object hyphen position and then colon and let's say we want to go ahead and move the image to the right you can see we've shifted it all the way to the right of the image right so we can't even see the parachute anymore so if we want to shift it to the left, we can see part of the parachute here and the person, but it's not quite where we need it, right? Um, obviously, we can also do um, top and bottom, but for this example, we're not really going to use that. I kind of just leave this at center and that's fine. So the first one is your left to right, pretty much your horizontal. And the second one is just your vertical. So instead of doing left or right, we're going to do a percentage. If I do 20%, it's going to move it 20% to the right. 60%, as you can see, it moves the image inside the image box, 60% to the right. But we want to kind of leave it at 30% or you can even do 20, 28, however you would like, right? So that's fine. And that works. Um, but we want to make sure that this looks great on mobile and tablet. So let's first check out tablet. Now, as we can see here, um, we need to adjust the image width. So mainly just need to go over here and we can adjust the width a little bit. You can see we can't seem to adjust it that much. That's mainly because over here, we need to maybe extend this a little bit, right? Um, so that works. But just in case you want to go ahead and adjust that, we can. Um, you would just need to do a media query. And I'll set up the media query as well. So we can do that symbol, media, um, some oval brackets, we're going to do max width, basically anything under 1025, which is usually the width of a tablet, the breakpoint for tablet 1024, actually. And then after our oval brackets, we're going to type in curly brackets. Now we can just copy the same code, really. But we want to always set this under um, 
our other code here that doesn't have a, a query selector because it always starts off on desktop, tablet, and then under this we'll have mobile. So 1024 pixels, right? Um, and now we can just start to adjust this if we need to, right? We can do 60, however we would like, right? So if I were to go back to desktop, you see it wouldn't affect it. But just for this example, I'm gonna probably set it back to where it was. Maybe I'll set it uh, to 30 instead. 30 is fine. All right. Now let's go into mobile. It looks great anyway, but just in case, because it's not always the case, sometimes we still need to adjust um, a mobile. But let's first go back to style and let's maybe adjust the, the height of this, right? Maybe we don't, we don't wanna, we wanna adjust the height a little bit. Now we can shift it a little bit more to the right. So let's just copy this code that we created. Let's duplicate it under here. It's very important that if it's in lower pixels, then we have to have it right under. Okay. So let's do 767, which is a breakpoint for mobile. If you can see here, 767. And we're gonna shift this. Remember, we wanna shift this to to the left a little more, or actually more so, uh, yeah, to the left. So let's do, do maybe 60 there. It looks like it's not moving, but it's because we have an extra X here. So let's do, um, Okay, we want it shift it a little more. Let's do maybe 20, 23, right? That works. So there you have it. That's kind of how you would go about doing it. I mean, technically you don't really need this one because the first one is always gonna be um, your horizontal. Um, so technically you don't really need it, but it is good practice just to have it there, but um, it's fine. We can just we can just work without it. So let's go ahead and preview this and make sure that it's working correctly. So let's go to inspect and let's move this around. Make sure that works good for most. Now, obviously, the issue here is that you know we do have this. Um, this issue here, right? But it doesn't have to really do with the image. It's more so just a container. Obviously, if I can just ex if I just extend this container, then it'll be fine anyway. So, but it's just more so an example. Um, but that's pretty much it for the video. If you guys have any questions, just comment down below, and I'll try to help you guys out. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.